Hey guys, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharma Tube. Previously, we discussed some of the lessons in antibiotics. If you did not watch them, click on the links given in the description below this video to watch them. In this lesson, we shall discuss the discovery, structure and nomenclature of cephalosporins, which are another type of beta-lactam antibiotics. Cephalosporins are the second major class of beta-lactam antibiotics. They are a group of broad-spectrum semi-synthetic beta-lactam antibiotics that currently constitute the most widely prescribed class of antibiotics. They are used to treat diseases caused by both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria with wide safety margins compared to penicillins. Favorable attributes of the cephalosporins include low toxicity, a relatively broad spectrum of activity, and ease of administration. Various cephalosporins are effective for the treatment of pneumonia, skin and soft tissue infections, bacteria, and meningitis. Differences among the numerous cephalosporin antibacterial agents sometimes subtle. Discovery of cephalosporins The first cephalosporin, that is cephalosporin C, was isolated from a fungus called cephalosporium acrimonium, now called acrimonium chrysogenum. It was obtained from sewer waters on the island of Sardinia in 1945 by the Italian professor Giuseppe Brodzu. Brodzu noticed that the waters surrounding the sewage outlet periodically cleaved off microorganisms. He reasoned that the organism might be producing an antibacterial substance and so he collected samples and managed to isolate the fungus Cephalosporium acrimonium. The crude extract from this organism was shown to have antibacterial activity and isolated cephalosporin C in 1948. The structure of cephalosporin C was established by X-ray crystallography in 1961. Cephalosporin C is a prototype of these cephalosporin antibiotics and it shows a close similarity to the penam structure. The 5 thia one aza bicyclo 420 octane ring system is therefore called the Cefam ring. The parent compound carries the amino adipate side chain which can be cleaved to supply the 7 amino cephalosporanic acid which is abbreviated 7ACA. This amine can easily be acylated and thus forms the basis of many useful derivatives. The structure of cephalosporin C has similarities to that of penicillin in that it has a bicyclic system containing a four-membered beta-lactam ring but in cephalosporin the beta-lactam ring is fused to a six-membered dihydrothiazine ring. Nevertheless, cephalosporins are derived from the same biosynthetic precursors as penicillin that is from cysteine and valine. Since cephalosporin C is only 1000th as active as benzyl penicillin, which means it is not particularly potent. Thus, its use is very limited. Because of its low antibacterial activity, it is more evenly directed against gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria. However, it has greater resistance to acid hydrolysis and enzymatic hydrolysis towards beta-lactamase enzyme and becomes highly concentrated in the urine which makes it useful in the urinary tract infections caused by gram-negative organisms. It is also less likely to cause allergic reactions. Therefore, cephalosporin C was seen as a useful lead compound for the development of further broad-spectrum antibiotics, hopefully with increased potency. Many analogues of cephalosporins have been made which demonstrated the importance of the beta-lactam ring within the bicyclic system, an ionized carboxylate group at position 4 and the acyl amino side chain at position 7. These results tally closely with those obtained for the penicillins. The strain effect of a six-membered ring fused to a four-membered ring is less than for penicillin, but this is partially offset by the effect of the acetyl oxy group at position 3. This can act as a good leaving group in the inhibition mechanism. The 3-acetoxymethyl substituent is also amenable to modifications. There is a limited number of places where modifications can be made, but there are more possibilities than with penicillins. They are number 1 variations of the 7 acyl amino side chain, number 2 variations of the 3 acetoxymethyl side chain, and number 3 extra substitution at carbon 7. Structure of cephalosporin 
Cephalosporin is composed of a nucleus with two side chains. The nucleus is a 7 amino cephalosporanic acid which is similar to the nucleus of penicillin except that the beta lactam ring is fused to a 6 membered dihydrothiazine ring instead of a 5 membered thiazolidine ring. The cephalosporin core has two major advantages over penicillin core. Number one, it is intrinsically more resistant to cleavage by beta lactamases. And number two, it has two variable sites or substituents R1 and R2 at which it can be modified. This in part explains the large number of cephalosporins commercially available today. As a consequence of the bigger ring, the cephalosporins should have less strained and less reactive and less potent to compare with penicillins. Nomenclature of cephalosporins The bicyclic beta lactams are numbered starting with the position occupied by S in the cephans. That is, position 1 is always adjacent to the beta carbon of a beta lactam ring. The numbering continues clockwise from position 1 until the beta carbon atom of a beta lactam is reached, at which point numbering continues anti-clockwise around the beta lactam ring to number the remaining two carbons. Most cephalosporins have generic names beginning with ceph. This is convenient for classification but makes discriminating between individual members. The chemical nomenclature is slightly more complex than penicillins because of the presence of a double bond in the dihydrothiazine ring. Cephalosporins are named by two ways. Number one, chemical abstracts and number two, cepham derivatives. According to the chemical abstracts system, the fused ring system is designated as 5 thia 1 aza bicyclo 420 oct 2e. Cephem is the name given to the unsubstituted saturated bicyclic ring system with the lactam carbonyl oxygen. According to this system, all commercially available cephalosporins and cephamycins are named 3 cephems or delta 3 cephems to designate the position of the double bond. Interestingly, all known 2 cephems are inactive presumably because of the beta lactam lacks the necessary ring strain to react sufficiently. The trivialized forms of nomenclature of the type that have been applied to the penicillins are not consistently applicable to the naming of the cephalosporins because of the variations in the substituent at the position 3. Thus, although some cephalosporins are named as derivatives of cephalosporanic acids, this practice applies only to the derivatives that have a 3-acetoxy methyl group. The cephalosporins are similar to the penicillins in many aspects including several structural features and mode of action. Like the penicillins, the cephalosporins have an important western substituent joined by an amide linkage to the cephem C7 amine center and the C8 center contains the beta lactam carbonyl center. The stereochemistry of the cephalosporin C6 and C7 centers must be of the R designation for antibacterial activity and this spatial disposition is analogous to that of the penicillins. Like the penicillins, the cephalosporins also require a carboxylic acid group for activity and this group is attached to the C4 position placing it in a similar orientation along the beta lactam system as the penicillin carboxylic acid. The cephalosporins differ from the penicillins in several ways. The naturally occurring cephalosporins contain a dihydrothiazine ring fused to the beta lactam unit. In contrast, the penicillins have a thiazolidine ring. The cephalosporins dihydrothiazine ring is not saturated nor does it contain geminal dimethyl substitution. Both are characteristic of the penicillins. Furthermore, in case of the cephems, a sulfur atom at position 1 is not an absolute requirement for antibacterial activity. Carbocephems and dithiaoxacephems are potent analogues. In addition, a variety of isomeric derivatives in which the heteroatom is transported with the C2 carbon center have been shown to possess good antibacterial properties. The cephalosporins contain an endocyclic carbon-carbon double bond conjugated to the carboxylic acid functionality. Therefore, there is no stereocenter within the dihydrothiazine ring. The cephalosporins also differ from the penicillins. A host of substituents that extend from the C3 position, penicillins contain their characteristic methyl groups at C2. 
the most common structural variations of the cephalosporin family involve the west end chains at the c7 position and the c3 substrate ones mm. both groups are important in conferring various properties to the molecule as a whole most early cephalosporins being active against some gram negative bacteria as well as gram positive organisms inherently offer a more balanced antibacterial spectrum than the prototypic penicillins a number of direct comparisons between cephalosporins and penicillins containing identical west ends have shown this to be a general trend unfortunately the cephalosporins as a family are innately less potent than their penicillin counterparts for example susceptible staphylococci are inhibited by penicillins at much lower concentrations than those needed with the analogous cephalosporin this is the list of references followed for the lesson that's all in this video the discovery structure and nomenclature of cephalosporins in the next lesson we will discuss the chemistry of cephalosporins till then never stop learning and never stop watching my videos thank you for watching this video